Greetings to all. Desire everyone is doing well. We are going into a touchy subject, Chiron in Scorpio. I do desire everyone is doing well. And thank you for coming to support me as I support you along the many evolutionary journeys of your mind, body, emotions, and your soul. Know that what may communicate out of my mouth comes from a space of love and compassion and desire for you to be able to tap into the source of your wounds. Being that my Chirons and Scorpio deal with the wounds of mental and emotional manipulation, which is a sensitive subject just by itself when it comes to mental emotional manipulation um, and this is because you were forced to attach to something that you didn't want to attach to or you had to detach from something that um, you didn't want to so this played a psychological emotional imbalance within you um, because of this however all the information you need for any personal consultations will be down in the description box my cash app as well as my disclaimer um, that shea butter is so thick all that jazz you know what to do if you so desire and do check out your opposite pole or the opposite axis, which will be Taurus, to possibly fill in some clues. But if you're good here, that's fine with me. However, to bring harmony and balance and more awareness to you and what you're experiencing, I highly suggest you check out your other axis. This is still general because the situations that may come out may not be your residence. So take what is for you, leave the rest for someone else's story. We're going to look into the current expression, past influence, what you do not see, and challenges. And then we will get some supporting messages towards the end. I have to do something real quick. One moment. Okay. So let's get the energy out first. Chiron and Scorpio. Supreme creative source. Ancient of our ancient ancestors in the higher realms of our greatest good. What is the current expression for my Chirons in Scorpio. So we'll take that for the influence, current expression, and what they don't see, and challenges. Thank you. Servant, truth seeker, diet, and water disaster. Water disaster came out in one of them that I just recently did. This is um, current expression with servant is some of you, this feels like a work environment that some of you do not feel so comfortable with being in. Some of you also um, with the servant is like you want others, it's like currently you want other people to basically 
take the load. I'm going to say it like that, to take the load. There's someone here um, that is currently either or within um, like cleaning houses or maybe work at a daycare of some sort. And the past influence, the past influence with this truth seeker is the fact of the things of the manipulation of the mind, you know, and how you were always very, the past, at one point in the past, you were very spiritually inquisitive, just asked a bunch of questions. You know, you may still be that way, but this is within the essence of your keen sense that you actually have um, to source. And this feels like because of the attaching when you didn't want to attach and detaching when you didn't want to, um, it created this, I'm hearing, facade to where you were chasing after or you're chasing after now the wrong um, truths or gnosis. This diet and what you don't see coming right now is like some of you are binge eating because of your mind and your emotions. So, and it's also giving me what you don't see is that those of you that are just having a poor diet, it's this poor diet is because it's a mask, because it's it's the mask to yourself because you don't um I'm feeling like you don't want to allow yourself to just be open and vulnerable and exposed because the diet that's here is showing me cakes with icing even though the cake is fattening and not very nutritionally good it's like you're glutton for punishment but some of you are like still putting the fruit on top but the fruit really has no merit or no value here for you okay with those cakes being there and this this challenge of water disaster is just self-explanatory it's really self-explanatory because it's like right now you're challenged with keeping yourself out of the um, emotional storms some of you are just really lost within the abyss of the sea or just so lost within the darkness in the depths of that scorpionic energy to where you don't even know how to turn on your own light at this time um, to actually seek out the truth that you need what is this yeah this is my vampires deck This is like, I don't know, let's, this servant, let's get something else with the servant. Tyrant. Yeah, daughter of grails. Past influence. This is like wanting someone to just serve you in the past, the queen of grails. We went from the daughter, which is the page, to the queen with the truth seeker. I cannot see my cards with that light. Let me put my cards down. Let me adjust my light because I like to read in and let the cards communicate to me. Okay, I apologize, but I can't take that glare. Um, but this is very seductive. This is a relationship between a strong mother and daughter relationship here. And it feels like currently with the servant and the daughter of grails, which is the daughter of cups, the life force, the energy of your DNA that flows through you. It's like you're consumed by emotional satisfaction. And this is something that I feel that 
the mother or the auntie or female cousin or um, whoever this environmental um, influencer was in your life um, that was a female um, really taught you how to um, be something that you did not want to be. Then this is also um, of the past in being overindulged or oversensitive within your feelings. Um, yeah, this is very intense within the feelings and like really not wanting to let it go. This is like giving me temper tantrum, um, temper tantrum moments, okay? Because the emotions aren't getting what it wants or what it desires. Hope they don't see coming. Okay, the fool is facing me, so. And the musician for the challenges. What you don't see with the fool and the diet, yeah, is the. This is like diving in so deep into shopping so much or just eating the wrong things or taking a thing of, um, what is it, ice cream and just binge eating. This is like you, your serving size. How I'm seeing this is like your ser serving size is like extreme. And this is because you don't want to face the new beginnings. And this feels like fairness into other people's um, emotions. And this is because currently you want people to serve your emotions at this time. You want them to serve you and do certain work. It's like very domineering, um, dominatrix type energy that I'm kind of feeling here. Um, this is also bringing in with the truth seeker um, in you constantly spying or looking for something like I don't know how to explain this but it's like you're just constantly at a young at a young age you just constantly was spying you always thought something wasn't right things weren't what they always seem. There's a few in here that really had a problem with authority. Female authority. And some of you may still be bumping heads when it comes to um, collaborating or working um, with females. This, um, These challenges, we have the musician with the world I mean the water disaster and with me saying the world this is like so you're you're challenged with taking the tools and and taking um, the emotional distress and allowing the self to be vulnerable so this is where you're challenged in letting yourself be vulnerable okay Allowing yourself, your true identity of self to stand forward so that you can actually come to be equipped to better know how to find or go into the eye of the storm. Alright, the current expression, the servant and the daughter of Grails. Yeah, this is like just, I don't know what that card is. Is that all? Okay. But this is like, currently you just want people to do, do service. Do service unto you. If I can't have it, I don't want it. The Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands was in reverse. The Hour Font and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is like, it's my way or the highway. 
if other people if other so you're inflicting pain on other people with that mentality through having emotional and mental control over someone because the higher font you know is about traditions it's about foundations it's about structures you know institutions you know and where um people come to seek counsel and it's like that nine of wands in reverse you know it's like you don't care about the individual's pain issue you know it's like whatever you know someone come to try to talk to you and you're they're not saying what you want it's like whatever who cares you have no value no whatever like no remorse whatsoever it's like a very cold and malice heart very revengeful here let's see what we can find out about this past a little more with this past some of you sing, sing prayers nine of pentacles some of you were taught I need something else with that nine of pentacles yeah, some of you um, were taught in how to demoralize your your foundations. Whatever material you're with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you were taught at a young age in how to discredit your own self and not incorporate the spirit of your knowing within you. This is really a home. This feels like a strong um Chiron in Scorpio in the fourth house. This can possibly be in the tenth house because the father deals with authority. And there's like a lack of respect of people's authority of that they have for their own individual feelings, their own authenticity. And it's like you don't really, some and most, the truth of the matter is that you really don't care, but because this is the past influence, it is still in the present psychosis of your conditionings. And whoever this female was, they could have taught you how to use drugs. They could have taught you how to use your body to get what you want and to deny your um, emotions here and what made you feel celebratory and happy for you, okay? I need something. Uh, let's move forward. The Three of Cups is in reverse. What else goes with what they don't see? Is my deck upside down? No. No, my deck is not upside downwards. We have the Three of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. You don't see how you just are in such... You do not see the deceit. You do not see your own deception, your own mind game, playing people's minds and emotions. You do not see it. What you, what you do not see is the diet, the food, what you're dishing out. You do not see what you're taking in, what you're consuming, and you do not see what you're dishing out. And it's robbing and discrediting, discrediting you. And you wonder to know why you have to constantly feel like you're looking over your shoulder. Or wondering why you constantly feel like someone's watching you. Because who's watching you is the etheric realm. Your ancestors, your guardians, your guides, okay, are watching you. And this behavior... This has been, I'm hearing, this has been an ongoing. What you don't see is how long this has been going on for such a long time. It's like, a, you just, it's like 
constant disagreement after disagreement because you can't get what you want or you can't get what you can control. If someone's not giving you the desires of you or just valuing you, then you got a problem with it. I'm seeing a problem with it. Your trauma is oppression. You've been too oppressed. And I feel like you need to learn or work on how to be more natural. Natural within your own heart, connecting to source. Justice. The Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. Justice, the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. I, I can understand why this is a challenge. Because this runs so deep. These emotions. It's like. There's a part within. That just want fairness. There's some of you here. Um, that you're challenged with. Um, the desire you have. Behind seeking revenge. On others. That when someone does something wrong. There's a level of revenge. Um that you seek after and it's because of the emotional distress that you have already experienced and this quiet storm within you with this justice is actually trying to nudge you to actually um, be, to be able to walk away from those things that's not manifesting the equality or the reciprocity that you truly um, desire and truly want to give and feel and experience that is true and authentic and that's not fake and a facade. It's like some of you have become so fake that you put on all these different masks just to manipulate the situation to receive what it is that you want. It's like at this time you go through it would by any means necessary to get your own nine of pentacles and your four you know your four of wands you know your own um bounty some of you i'm hearing too within um marriage or work contract um, that there's something that you're also trying to control um, instead of, it's like you don't want to hear someone else's input. It's like someone else's input isn't valid or important. And this is creating a lot of mental and emotional turmoil within you and why some of you feel like you just constantly are within the waters and you just cannot it's like you can't it's like you're you you so often in the waters because what's feeding and making the water move in such a turbulent way is the air is the mind the mind is feeding the water and it's making the tsunamis and it's you know and it's blowing it just like everywhere and yeah and it's like there's no grounding. It's like there's no material substance. There's no um, ethics or principles, you know, within how you um, deal with yourself or how you deal with other people outside of you here. And there's definitely some balance and 
and some identities within self-love that you have to stop. Just stop. Whatever you're doing, just stop. Just stop. Because I feel like here we really need to come to identify love all over again. The love of yourself, the love of others, the love of spirit, the love of freedom, the love of servitude and receiving, of giving and taking. Whew. Three of Wands. Balance, my dears. Balance. Some of you may also be um, in a very emotional, abusive relationship. Now, the thing is, is who's the abuser and who's being abused? see something yeah this says seeing the bigger picture is one of the lessons yep and physical and or sexual abuse is the trauma yeah so some of you are definitely constantly within war and battle it's like relationships job ships don't seem to last too long. Social groups constantly change. And that's why I said like the mini masks. Let's see what your soul wants to express. I feel like I need to bring more out. But it's like the investigation that needs to be done here within this scorpionic energy is really coming to face your self right now. Currently, currently coming to face yourself and bring awareness to yourself so that way when you bring more awareness and by being within the present moment you come to identify your true emotions and once you come to identify your true emotions and become vulnerable with yourself first and release all limitations you can then do it for someone else and bring awareness to your actions, your behaviors, your words, you know, or, ha you know, habits that you have with your social groups, okay? What is your soul? The supporting, supporting messages. I feel like we need something else here. I heard someone say, yeah, let bygones be bygones. I'm not missing out for nothing. I said balance. Synchronicities, change, purpose. One more source. One more. We'll take five. What is that fifth one? Trust. And just for shits and giggles, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to it. So any of you that think that you do not have the ability to actually go and seek out within the self to bring awareness, that's not true. You have the ability. Why? Because you have a keen sense. You have a keen a connection with source, okay, with spiritual spiritual divine okay so balance is the first card that we have here a lot of indigo a lot of indigos going on okay a lot of indigos going on here yeah and throat communication mind okay to communicate oh 
down talking a lot of you down talk to yourself down talk this is self emotional um, abuse um, something with your Virgo placement something with where something someone here has something in their Virgo um, energy that may be a Lilith um, or you your moon your moon might be Virgo anyways balance it says bring a state of perfect harmony into your world and do so without judgment okay do so without the need for control without the need to manipulate a situation to get what you want okay let's bring balance because this is green I know you can't see it but this is green the heart okay the heart then we have synchronicities so let's pay attention to the number 87 um, 875 875 or 87 okay synchronicities pay attention to your triggers the synchronicities is pay attention to your triggers your mind mental triggers when you may want to be vindictive towards someone or you want to call to manipulate someone's mind to say hey you know because you know you just spent your 200 and something dollars on a bag or getting your hair done or getting your nice suit gentlemen and you want to call up somebody and manipulate their mind and say oh you know such and such such and such you know um i need this money you know whatever so i can take care of it. that's mental you know or my lights is going to be turned off and you know knowing you just spent two hundred dollars that you need to pay your lights but then you want to go play your fuck up game on somebody else and go play with their heartstrings their mind to say yes and their heartstrings to have sympathy and empathy for you or if it's a job situation you know, knowing you've been pussyfooting around at the job and you got a stack load of things that you need to take care of for work, but you haven't done it. So then you go on and approach somebody at work to come and take your workload for you to help you get ahead so, you know, you can meet this deadline. I do desire Mama Solo is paying, uh, I am paying attention. I do desire that you're paying attention to what Mama Solo is saying here, okay? purpose know what you're here to do right now you're here to do is to heal and learn how to use your wounds of your Chiron to heal yourself and use those moments when you may feel triggered or disappointed or however that may look for you and just really allow yourself to make lemonade okay instead of just being a straight sourpuss this is for whoever this is for okay purpose this is intuition your intuition wants to reconnect back with you it wants to be back in harmony and balance wants to begin a new foundation within change for the sake of all for the sake of all and then we have the throat with change which fits into what's already spoken and trust it is important that you trust in you again to find that within you again to find that voice within that you once trusted and that was very keen and very astute and very alert is what I want want to say is very has been very alert but now the alert that's going on or off I'm hearing alarm that's going off in you is the very deep and dark aspects through the torment and the things that you've had to endure okay something else here let's get you some um, angel numbers 
I'm having a hot flash. Uh oh. Here she go, ladies and gentlemen. Private Summers. And I see my light keep changing colors like it's crazy, but hey. I can be a chameleon. A light chameleon. I look like I'm on fire. I am. I am on fire. Because this can also be some of your energy as well. In the triggers. Like, who the hell she thinks she is telling me what I need to do? It's a suggestion. You have own, your own free will. You have your own free will. This is here just as a guide to assist you to maybe pay attention to your behavior and how you may have been manipulating people or attaching to people that you really don't want to be attached to and you know that. But you still have them because it's convenient. And the ones that you really want to attach to, that your soul sparks and it makes you feel some type of way with that four of wands, you detach from it. Oh, that's too good for me. That's too good to be true. See the opposite pole of value? Like, no, that's too good to be true. So I'm just going to automatically detach from it. But in essence, in your soul, you want it. Let's get the angel number. You have a lot of psychic powers, a few of you here. I am intelligent. You have a lot of psychic powers here. And the angels are asking you to get in alignment. They want to enforce 1111, I am awakening. Okay? You are awoken. Okay? You're coming to my videos, you're awoke. Now, I am working on my next level of awakening within my healing of my traumas. First we have, I am intellectual. Yes, you are. Card number 25. I'll read them. Number 22, so 875, 87, you may see 25, 22, and then you have, oh, okay, Scor Chiron's and Scorpio, 88 too, wealthy, yes, oh, uh, uh, the wounds of controlling other people's money. You like to control some of you, not everyone. There's a few here that like to control other people's money. This is also giving me um, that you were wounded because other people took your light. If there was a project at school, someone else got credit for what you were doing. And you felt that it, it took something, it discredited it. And yes, it did. It did discredit you and it was wrong. But now... It is important for those that this is your situation here, you know, in this money hunger, you know, this greed, provisions, yeah. And then we have I am brilliant, 7 and 88, I am wealthy. I heard I am wealthy, but I need to be healthy. 25 says, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Yes, this is part of your healing power that you were wounded in. Being able to process information and receive the information because you have that keenness about your knowing. You know what I'm saying? But there's a distortion here. It says your curiosity. The curiosity is... The ability that you have to actually ask the right questions that are needed or, yeah, this is like that detective investigator energy. 
Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. And at this time, when you see 25, know that it's asking you to actually bring an immense awareness to what subject or where you're at within your thought or your emotions while you may be involved in those or with those within the 3D mundane world 22 you are you are in possession of incredible creative powers that's that psychic abilities that's that keen sense to know the fake you know to be able to to heal people and saying hey you know that person isn't no good for you that's really not your boyfriend you know he got something else going on because I can feel the energy it's like you know that very keen keen sense that's that power of that psychic ability okay it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish yes you can achieve anything that you wish and you have been thus far without me coming to say this however you can have so much more of an abundant flow of this if you allow yourself to connect into the truth of your heart again to clear out your mind and the clutter that may be consuming you that your soul and your inner child and all aspects of self is really asking you to come into the flow of change seven you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mystery yes this is part of that keen sense so when you see seven alone, how am I not uncovering the truth? Where's the lie? Where's the manipulation? Where's the false intent or the false motive? Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. Yes, somehow we got all this indigo color here. That third eye chakra area is a little cloudy or a lot cloudy for some and really needs to be cleaned up a little bit so that you can actually come to fulfill this. It says to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual plane gives you a greater awareness than most. Okay? 88. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. Yes. Got to first clean up the mess. Begin the process to clean up the mess. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. And I have to agree. You know, so that doesn't mean that to just go and manipulate people to get these things that you desire within your finances and your material um, possessions, but to come to the more, a more peaceful space to receive what you want to get. And I do say, my beautiful souls, if you have found anything of use here, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. And this daughter-mother relationship energy or auntie relationship, sister relationship energy. And do know, this can also be a masculine that is very feminine or very nurturing um, that this can also be. And until next time, Mama Solili, Ashe.